Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So this is going to be a little bit of a project slash tutorial video on how to upscale a cutting board like this into something like this. It's a relatively simple process. I'm gonna walk you through the five steps that I took to get there from start to end. Now you don't necessarily have to have all the tools that I have. The process is the same regardless of whether you're using a CNC or a router or you're just using hand tools and you're chiseling it out on your own. All right, let's get on with it. Step number one, find yourself an appropriate cutting board that you're looking to upscale. In this case, we found this cutting board at the grocery store on sale for about $6. So in that regard, the material cost is very low for a project like this. Step number two, very simply, you have to route the outline that you're looking to route on the particular cutting board that you have. Now, in this case, we actually routed an outline of the state of California as a gift to some friends who are originally from California. We purchased actually uh, six cutting boards and did five of them in different uh, state outlines, uh, Wisconsin, California, Florida, uh, Maryland, and a variety of other states for a variety of our friends. So you can do any sort of outline that you want as long as it's capable of being filled with any sort of inlay or epoxy. Step number three, select the material that you want to put into the routed space. Now in my example here, I actually used epoxy resin. I mixed a little bit of the pearl white and a little bit of black to create a white marbled effect. You can use any sort of epoxy or coloring that you want, or you could even use wood uh, inlay and a variety of other materials like corian and whatnot to fill the void if you want to do that. I will say having done both wood and epoxy, the epoxy is a lot easier to complete because you're just pouring the epoxy and letting it dry. Uh, sanding takes a little bit longer, but in the, in the grand scheme of things, the epoxy is a lot easier to manage with. All right, step four really comes down to sanding and finalizing the preparation of the material for the finishing. Now, again, in this case, I used epoxy. I did sand all of the wood uh, and the epoxy to 1000 grit. I started with uh, 60 grit to get the epoxy mostly flat and then to 80 and then moved up from 80 to uh, 120, 150, 180, uh, I think 220, 320. 400, 600, 800, and then 1,000. <laughs> so that sounds a little bit complicated, but honestly, once you get up to about 150 or even 220, the amount of sanding you're doing is very minimal. You're actually more or less burnishing the wood at that point uh, after you get into the 300s and the 400s. That higher grit is really to make the epoxy very, very smooth, which it is. It's, it's just glass smooth in this case. So it turned out very well. Step five, and the final step, is to finish your board. Now what I do for these cutting boards is I uh, submerge them in some mineral oil. I let them sit for about a half an hour, an hour, to fully absorb all the oil. I take them out, wipe them dry, let them dry for 24 to 48 hours, and then I apply some wax to the finish. In this case, it's a custom beeswax mineral oil combination that I made. I have a video for that. If you'd like to see how to do it, we can link that up above. Uh, but that's the final step. Uh, you put the wax on, you let it dry for maybe a half an hour or an hour, wipe it down, and then overall let the board sit for probably another day or two uh, wiping it every once in a while so that it's completely dry and then you end up with this very fantastic super smooth um, functional cutting board to use uh, for charcuterie or as a gift wall hanging whatever you choose to use it for but I think it turned out very well all right that's the video very simple five steps source your cutting board route the outline you're looking to fill fill it with whatever material you want to fill it with sand it smooth, and finish it with your final coat of oil and or wax. Very, very easy, very simple. Now in this particular case, I have an X-Carve, so I let it do all the cutting for me. It took about 10 or 15 minutes per cut, so overall I have about an hour or so it took to do the cutting across the four cutting boards. Uh, prep time for Infusion 360 was probably, you know, about an hour or so as well. So. Some total, if you want to add up the total time to do the project, it probably took three or four hours over the period of three or four days. So it's pretty easy to do, pretty uh, straightforward. Obviously, if you don't have a CNC machine, you're gonna to have to hand route it, which is not too difficult if you have a template or just freehand it using an outline that you draw on with maybe a pencil or a pen. All right, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Super fun project, super easy to do. And if you choose to sell them, I'm sure you can make a fair profit on them. 
All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. But leave your comments down below so we can make future videos better. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post pictures of projects I am working on, which become future videos in many cases. All right, that is it. Thank you for making it this far. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell. Very important these days. And don't forget to be inspired. All right, step number one, very simply, you have to find yourself a cutting board. Um, Roxy. Step number one, you have to find some sort of cutting board or, what do we wanna call it, cutting board? All right. All right, step number, <clears throat> you could also use wood, or a variety of other materials to fill the inlay. Hi. <clears throat> Do I smell good? Hmm? What are you doing? Yeah. See, right there. Uh, uh huh. I understand. Oh, I know. Oh, I see the little butt. Okay. Shut the door. Nope, nope. Out.
I don't know why I'm recording all of this, but I am. Maybe it'll make the editing easier. Sit. Yes, no, no, I <laughs> can't. Sit. I am busy. I'll be done in about 10 minutes. Okay?